everybody welcome back to starbase and it's not been a lot of time that passed between last episode and this episode um yeah i don't know if you guys have seen the last episode i would highly recommend going to check it out see how this um ship flies but today we are going to focus on the plating of the ship so i have gone and dabbled a little with the uh dark arts of plating and um especially like these triangle thrusters up here so they originally did look like this and this ha they have this ugly piece uh sticking over the uh hard point over there but it's it works they are welded and this hard point is now very happy to sit snugly against the beams now um yeah just to give you guys an idea i did come up with this little feature or this little idea for a triangle thruster which i think it looks pretty good I like it, like it's a little bit of a step and goes nicely around. Even though it does not 100% meet up with that, with this plate, for instance, it's still very, very good. I like it. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see how the rest will turn out. I still have to add a window over here. The only problem is the window, it sort of ends in between here, this little gap, like just in, in the half of it. So it doesn't really quite reach this beam, but it doesn't quite reach anything else. So I will see what I can do with that. And then they get this corner thing over here, which I do not know what I'm going to do regarding. Maybe it's just a decorative piece, decorative plate just sticking on top of this. That could work. But I got to say the, um, like, uh, this is a before and a sneak, pre a sneak peek into the after. So yeah, I'm very excited to get this started. Once this, uh, we're just gonna get the basic plates done just to give the ship a shape. Um, and then we will start decorating the inside. I think the next episode we will start decorating the inside. But um, yeah, there is a couple of things that I'm still busy working on in the background here in Starbase. So episodes might be few and far in between, but I will try my best to get as many out as possible or as quickly as possible. Um, but I don't want to rush anything. Otherwise, if you get a ru if you rush a project, then you will end up, you know, hating it or regretting it. So, um, but this is this is a ship that I want to work. It want it should work. It must work. And I want to use it. That's the whole point of this ship. And uh, yeah, all right. You know what? I am quickly going to see what I can do regarding to the. Um, and see how far I can get and we'll be right back so hold on tight and welcome back people so uh, it has been actually a few couple of days uh, since the first part of this video and today's video so uh, or first part of this video and the second part of this video um, so yeah anyways I have some good news yeah here we go actually I'm going to do this like zoom in yeah <laughs> but anyways yeah this is the uh, sunbeam and i have gone and added all the plates the necessity of plates like um just you know covering up the main bits and everything i don't like that it's flat here we will mi we might add something like some decorations or something back there i don't know but um yeah i'm actually very very happy on how this thing came out i mean it, it can fly now but it's not not all the plates have been bolted down just some just some um but yeah this is what we got i'm very very happy about it and as we can see in the interior i think if i can switch this off we can actually see a little bit on the inside as well i will show you guys in a second like how it looks like in there but it still it looks like it looks like a proper ship you know it looks pretty cool and uh I'm very happy how it turned out. Hopefully these guys, the hinges will work perfectly and all the plates and everything will be properly bolted down. I tried my base to like, if, if I'm going to auto bolt, then everything should fall into place relatively easily. Easily? Easy. Yeah. Um, just don't mind those your little chip that is there. That it will be added into the ship a little bit later. But I'm very happy about how this thing turned out. And uh, before I continue on, let me know in the comment section for those on YouTube. Do you want me to stream on YouTube some Starbase? Will that be easier for you? Or if not, 
let me know or that you can just look in the description down below to see the link to my twitch channel and uh i will be streaming there but just let me know you know like if you guys prefer that i stream to youtube if it will be better for you guys then definitely i will do that um, otherwise i will be streaming on my twitch and i will be resuming streaming very shortly um it's just like there was a couple of things that like path of exiles just uh launched a new league and everything so i tried to like dedicate some time to get a few things done before i miss out on a few things there and in between i've been doing this ship like it's plating and i've been working on another ship which is the uh inquisitor which is top secret i think i said this in the first part of the video um which i unfortunately cannot show you guys but still let's go you take a look inside here um yeah so very very basic look nothing very special um i don't know why this has not been continued onwards it feels like there should be a you know a a beam going this way ah, that is very weird if we take a look okay so no this is this is what happened okay so yeah no um i think i will be adding a beam that attaches to here to there um just to cover that up and have a plate sitting in there that's just one thing um, but yeah i'm gonna leave this open this part so there can be light inside here and um we're gonna have our four chairs one sitting over here over here over there and over there and this will be the captain's area and I quite like how everything is looking inside the ship. Very, pretty cool. Very, very spacious. Um, and yeah, there's no, not nothing much to it. Uh, there's also like we got two generators over here. And extra of uh, spare fuel rods over here. And uh, if we go to the back, we can just see like uh, what how everything looks like. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight propellant tanks sitting here. Uh, we got our speedometer sitting over here. I don't know if you guys have seen how this thing works. Um, yeah, it's uh, very interesting how it works. I think it gives you an average rough rust rough estimate, a rough estimate, a rough estimate of how fast you can fly. And like I said, I think it was a previous video or something. When we just test fly this baby, it was clocking around 150, I think. And uh, yeah, also I left this open here as well. I was thinking of adding a red light, a couple of red lights in here at, at this very bottom side so that it has that white glow at there and then red. It could look a little bit ominous or something, you know, or maybe blue. I don't know. It was real play around with different colors. And as we can see, like this did not really work out. Um, but I was thinking of maybe using some decorative plates, you know, just like, uh, I don't know this just just for how about that maybe something like this <clears throat> excuse me uh like this we can sort of like cover it up or something so that it doesn't look uh, as terrible and uh, there's a couple of things like over here i obviously did something here because there's like a big gash here that the plates aren't meeting up properly um so i decided to add this on the side and it does why did you weird um it does look cool i like it uh it does give it the ship a little bit of a different look to it and yeah and then we have our two control panels over here and we obviously have our pedals and things like down here like everything is what we need is down here and uh yeah i just don't know where i'm gonna put the yolo code stuff maybe down here somewhere you know just plopping in here and just make sure the ship has been edited and everything before, you know, continuing on uh, building it or anything. And then down here we have our transponder. And uh, I like that it's sticking out like this. I think if we, they have added the in plates, um, special plates. Yeah, get these little guys that you can use. And... Uh, like you put a small hard point for this one and then we have this bigger one for the large hard point which you can add just so you know it's a little bit of a frame under uh, like underneath so these guys can stick out a little they don't just sit flat but i kind of like it this flat so it feels like the ship has been properly aerodynamically made um but yeah it looks really clean i am very very proud of this and i can't wait to get this thing all fixed up and flying so yeah 
Anyways, people, that's it for me. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. If you guys did enjoy, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.